God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your heart, your mind, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. to invite you to watch us every Sunday afternoon on Facebook Live at 1.30 p.m. on the page of Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. And to listen to our evening service every Sunday on WUBS 89.7 at 6.30 p.m., 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time in South Bend, Indiana. We also have a Sunday School Conference call line every Saturday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis. Telephone number is 605-313-5142. And the access code is 388-999-POUND. If you are not able to tune in at this time, you can call the playback number, which is 605-313-5153, using the same access code. Yeah. If your phone carrier charges for this line, please hang up and dial 716-293-9720. And then redial the 605 number and the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and mind that you may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. Now we will have prayer rendered by Minister Tony Coleman. Father God, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, we do thank you today, God, for your mercy, your kindness, your love, your grace, your power, your Holy Ghost. We thank you for all your people, O oh God. Today we ask you, Lord, that you continue to bless us, God, with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of your word. Enlighten us. Empower us. Grant us, O oh God, to be those people in these last and days, evil days, that we might be the light to this world that we should be. God, give us more instructions because we need it, oh God. We need to be the kind of people that you want us to be, Lord. And we pray, God, that you keep us, help us. Give us divine instructions, God, that we might overshadow anything that's not like your spirit. Make us a better witness to this world, God, so that people can run coming. What must I do to be saved? We thank you for these, your people today, God, the leaders of this place, God, that they might instruct us even the more. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy. Keep us, help us, and give us divine instructions. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Scripture, Sister Sandra Whitaker. Amen. I will read for your hearing 1 Peter 5th chapter 10th and the 11th verse. But the God of all grace, yeah. who hath called us into his eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now we will have... Words of life coming from Evangelist Beverly Willis. I say amen for her as she comes. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. Amen. I do give honor to God and to his son Jesus. Amen. To the precious Holy Ghost. To my pastor and companion, Bishop Thomas Willis, Jr. 
Amen to Minister Tony Frazier, Evangelist Tony Coleman. Amen. And to all that are in the house on tonight, all that are under the sound of my voice. Amen. I say God bless you. God bless Amen. You. I thank God. Amen. For this opportunity to speak a word for him today. Amen. And I pray, amen, that this will be received. Amen in a way that will bless your soul, amen, and give you a mind, amen, to live for Christ, amen, if you're not living for him, amen. The script, the uh, subject that I'm going to bring is God is our help in time of trouble. God is our help in time of trouble. This world is in so much uh, confusion and turmoil and and just fear, amen, because of all the different things that have happened, especially recently, not only recently, but especially recently, amen, there has been great fear and anger, amen, confusion, amen, violence and fightings and killings, amen, as if all of this is the answer. Amen. But we have to recognize that our answer is in God. Amen. Our answer is in Jesus Christ. Our answer is in the word of God. Amen. And if we would just yield ourselves, if we would just give God an opportunity to rule in our lives, amen, we will see that this would be so much easier. Amen. Going through this life would be so much easier. Amen. If we all submitted ourselves to God. Amen. If we all, amen, came into this life of holiness. Amen. We wouldn't have to worry about all the confusion and violence and fightings and killings. Amen. But knowing that everybody is not going to accept God, knowing that everybody doesn't want to live for God, amen, for those that do, amen, there is comfort in knowing yeah. that we can go to God for help in the time of trouble, amen, because he is our help, amen, we look to the hills from which cometh our help, amen, knowing that our help comes from the Lord, amen, I first want to um, read in Psalms the 46th division, amen, the first and second verse, amen. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in, time, in trouble, amen. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Amen. In other words, no matter what happens, amen, we don't have to fear. We don't have to walk in fear. Amen. We don't have to be nervous and, and have anxiety attacks. Amen. Fearful of what's going to happen next. Amen. We already know that this world is going to get worse and worse. Amen. People are panicking and, and, and fretful over what has already happened. Amen. But you need to understand it's going to get worse. Amen. Before it gets better. Amen. And I'm not talking necessarily about the new administration that has come in. I'm talking about the prophecies of the word of God. Amen. His word lets us us know, amen, that this world is going to get worse. And it's all because of sin, amen. And the Bible says, because iniquity abound, amen, the love of many shall wax cold, amen. And so people don't love like they used to, amen. They're not friendly to their neighbors like they're used to. Everybody seems to be in competition of one another, amen, instead of loving one another, helping one another, supporting one another, amen. This is the way God intends, amen, but the devil, amen, he is the one, amen, that's causing all of this confusion, amen, but we, the saints of God, amen, we can live in perfect peace, I'm talking about perfect peace, we can live in perfect peace if we, if we keep our minds stayed on God, the things one that keeps us 
in perfect peace. Amen. We, we, we look at the things that are on the news, and of course, amen, we don't, we don't act foolishly. Amen. We go out into this world. We wear our mask. Amen. We keep our social distance. Amen. But we don't have to fear. Amen. We don't have to fret. We don't have to just stay locked up in the house and just not move and not go anywhere. Amen. We have to go outside sometimes. We have to take care of business. We have to do our grocery shopping. Some have to go out to do their laundry. Amen. And we have to trust. Amen, that God is our help. Amen, that God is going to protect us. Amen, that he's going to keep us. Amen, he's going to keep us in health and strength. Amen, even as our soul prospers. Amen, so we got to trust in God. Amen, I trust in God. How about you? Amen. I trust in God. I move in God because in him I live, I move, and I have my being. Amen. I want to go to the 91st division of Psalms. Amen. This is a, a scripture or a, a division or a book, amen, that really expresses, amen, God's help in time of trouble. Amen. So not, Psalm 91 and 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of of the Almighty. And so the first thing that we have to do, amen, is get under the, 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 the shadow of God. Amen. How do we do that? Amen. We do that through the word. We do that through seeking God. Amen. Trusting God. Putting all of our faith in God. Amen. And you'll find yourself in that secret place where nobody can touch you. Amen. God will cover you. Amen. He will protect you. Amen. It says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. Yeah. He is the one that I run to for help. Yeah. Amen. You, some people go to other people. You find most of the world going to other people, researching stuff on Google. Amen. Trying to find out what they need to do. Amen. Find out what's good for them. Amen. But I dare you, amen, to go to this Bible, to go to the word of God, to seek God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. To ask God to help you, to give you strength amen in this time amen of turmoil and trouble amen god will help you he will be your refuge if you allow him to amen it says and my fortress amen the fortress is that hiding place that place that we go in amen and it's not a it's not a necessarily a corporal place Amen. We all come to church. Amen. Those that, that still have service. Amen. And we come together. Amen. In unity because there is unity and strength among the saints of God. Amen. But that place that we go to in God is individual. Hallelujah. It's individual. It's a relationship that you personally have to have with God. Amen. This is not about, you know, me and my, my spouse. It's not about me and my friends. It's not me, about me and my mama or my daddy. Amen. It's not me, not about me and my cousins. Amen. This is about me and God. Amen. It's just that individual. Amen. Everybody's got to find that refuge in God for themselves. Amen. And it's all, amen, the, the teachings of it is all in the word of God. Amen. It says, my God, in him will I trust. Amen. If you're being fretful and nervous and scared and, you know, don't want to leave the house, amen, you need to, to have your trust in God. Amen. You're not really trusting God. And again, I have to say, I'm not saying don't be careful. Amen. I'm not saying that you don't do the proper precautions. Amen. But you don't have to fear. Amen. You don't have to worry. Amen. Because God is your refuge. You know that God's got you. Amen. It says, surely he shall deliver thee. From the snare of the fowler, 
from those that would be after you because of your life in Christ. Amen. It says he will deliver you. Amen. He will protect you. Amen. So we have no need to fear. Amen. It says, and from the noisome pestilence. Amen. And, and a noisome pestilence is a, is a nasty, disgusting disease. Amen. Which is what this COVID-19 is, this coronavirus. Amen. But it says that he will uh, deliver thee from the noisome pestilence. Amen, and I just heard testimony today of someone whose child was delivered. Amen, from this, this coronavirus. Amen, this is what God will do for you. Ah, hallelujah, when you trust in him. Amen, when you trust and believe in him, believe in his power, amen, to keep you safe. Amen, God will do it. Amen. It says, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Amen. Just picture in your mind, amen, God covering you. Amen. Like, like a, a hen covers her little chicks. Amen. God protecting you, watching over you. He will do that for you. God will bless you and keep you from various accidents. Amen. Even your children. Amen. When you are in prayer, God will watch over your children. Amen. Again, I heard someone testify how that God blessed their, their child. Amen. Twice. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But that child had a praying mother. Amen. And it's important that we pray over our children. Amen. We can't be necessarily with them 24-7, you know, when they go to school or as they get older and they go to work, but we can always pray for them. Amen. We can always ask God to cover them and protect them. Amen. And we should even be praying that prayer for ourselves. Amen. God, as I leave this home, watch over me and protect me keep me safe from hurt harm and danger amen and you know what else we need to understand is that because we're in our homes that doesn't mean we're safe amen that doesn't mean we're safe amen because we've heard of cases where people shot up in houses amen we've heard of place uh uh, we've heard of situations where people went into the schools shooting up the children. Amen. So we can't get in our homes and act like, oh, I'm okay now. I don't need God because I'm in my home and, and we're all locked up. The doors are locked. The windows are locked. The alarm system is on. Amen. But if they want to get in, they can get in. Amen. With the, with the freedom that they have with these guns. Amen. If they want want to break your house in they can do it amen this is why amen we got to trust God to help us amen in the time of trouble amen we don't know what the enemy is going to bring about next amen but we can be ready for it amen if we put our trust in God amen if we believe God if we continue to seek his face amen and study his word amen God God will give us a peace that passeth all understanding. Amen. He will do that for us. Amen. I know it for a fact. Amen. Because he's done it for me. Amen. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Amen. All of this violence that's going on. Amen. I'm not going to let it cause me. Amen. To be fearful. Amen. To be fretful. Amen. Whatever happens, it happens. Amen. If this is the way God wants me to go, then so be it. Amen. But until then, until he decides, amen, that he wants my life. Amen. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to fret. I'm going to trust God. Amen. Amen. It's not because I'm all of that. Amen. But I trust God. Amen. I don't have on a bulletproof vest. I don't have a helmet on my head. Amen. But I have the protection of God down on the inside. Amen. I trust him. Amen. To take care of me. Amen. It says, nor the pestilence 
that walketh in darkness. Amen. And this makes me think of this coronavirus. Amen. Because when I think about darkness, I think about the fact that they can't find a, a solution for this. Amen. They're still studying. They're still researching. They're still looking into this thing. Amen. And I truly believe that God is going to bring forth the answer. Amen. In his due season. Amen. He's going to bring forth the answer. And he's going to bless that this coronavirus be er eradicated. Amen. But until then. Amen. I got to trust God. Even when it's over. I got to trust God. Amen. Because something else is coming. Something else is coming. We can't get laxed and feel, you know, at ease. Amen. We got to continue to seek God. We got to continue to stay in this word. This is a time where a lot of churches have closed down because of this coronavirus. Amen. And I understand. Amen. Everybody's situation is different. Amen. But what are you doing? Amen. While the churches are closed. Amen. Because you know what? There are two Two types of churches there are that there is the physical church building and then there is the church that liveth within us amen we are the church we are the body of Christ amen amen and if the if the if the spirit of God dwells in us there is no need to fear amen if you want to be live this life amen free of fear amen you got to give your life to God amen and not just a part of you amen you got to give all of you amen you can't decide how you want to serve God amen the decision of how to serve him is already laid out the plan is already set amen it's in the word of God and we can't change it amen because the Bible says that his word is forever settled in heaven it's settled amen so nobody can change it you can't do it your way you can't believe the way you want to believe amen it's got to be done according to the word of God amen you've got to call on God amen to, to bless your mind to open your mind to receive amen his word amen you've got to ask God amen if you're not saved to wash you cleanse you from your sins uh, and allow his spirit to come in amen and saturate your soul amen so that you know God for yourself amen you got to know God for yourself amen you can't just let people guide your life amen and guide your soul and you don't know where they're taking you amen you don't know where they're leading you people say it's okay to do this and that you know God understands and God will forgive amen but is that what the word of God says amen and I can tell you right now no Amen. That's not what the word of God says. Amen. And, and you can't allow people to lead you to hell. Amen. Well, my pastor said it's okay. And my pastor said we don't have to do this. And my pastor said, amen. But guess what? When you stand before the judgment seat of God, you're not going to be able to say my pastor said. Amen. You're not going to be able to put all the blame on him. Amen. If your pastor leads you the wrong way, yes, he's going to be punished. Amen. His, your blood is going to be required at his hands for leading you the wrong way. But you still are going to be held in account for the sins that you've committed. Amen. For the times that you never sought God to find out for yourself, is this the way you should live? Amen. For the fact that you didn't love God enough to put away your sins. Amen. And live for him. You're still going to be held accountable for those things. Amen. And when you're held in account, when the judgment is over, amen, your destination is going to be hell. Amen. And the lake of fire. Amen. I'm just telling you like it is because there's no time to sugarcoat this message there's no time to butter it up and make you feel good you need to know the facts amen you need to know the facts and the facts 
facts are, amen, that you have got to live for God, amen, if you want to gain eternal life, amen, you have to live for God if you want to experience perfect peace, amen. It says, it says, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday, amen. Things are happening that used to happen at night only now is it's in the daytime in broad daylight as they say people don't care they don't care who see them amen when you think about the uh the destruction that happened at the capitol in washington amen those people not only didn't care you know that they were destroying uh federal property but they wanted people to see them destroy amen so they took pictures and they took selfies amen they don't care they do it in broad daylight amen and so we it doesn't matter whether it's night or day you know people used to say i don't want to go out at night because things happen well things happen in the daytime too so now what you gonna do amen you gotta trust god you gotta believe that god is going to protect you amen it says a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Amen. And look at how we have to, to go out and take care of our business. Amen. And we come back and we're still COVID free. Amen. That's how God protects his people that trust in him. Amen. It says, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Amen. God will let you see, amen, the consequences of living in sin. Amen. All of those people that took pictures and selfies and, you know, you can, the world can see what they were doing. They're going to have to suffer consequences for that. Amen. And still nothing changed. Nothing changed. Whatever they went there to do, amen, nothing changed. The new administration is still there, amen. And we have to pray for them as well, amen. People are happy, people are relieved because of this new administration, but we still have to pray for them, amen. There are still people, amen, and, and we need to pray that God would bless them to make the right decisions, amen, that would help the people of this nation, amen. Looking at the um, ninth verse, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, because you have decided to live for God and to allow Christ to live in you. Amen. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. It won't even come close to you. Amen. But that depends on if you're trusting in God. Amen. If you're hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. If you're believing and not being fearful. Amen. The Bible talks about the fearful being turned into hell. Amen. Into the lake of fire. Amen. We understand, amen, a certain amount of fear, amen, of, of this uh, disease that's going around. Amen. But when I think about the goodness of Jesus, amen, what he's already done for me, amen, how he's already blessed me. How can I not trust him? How can I not believe in him? Amen. Why do I let these um, anxiety attacks come upon me? Amen. These are things that you ought to be rebuking the devil for. Amen. Because it's him that's bringing this. It's him that makes you feel like God is not going to be with me. He's not going to protect protect me. Look at all the people that already died. Amen. And even some saints have died. Amen. But it was, it was their time to go. Amen. We already know, amen, that death is here for each and every one of us. The Bible said it's appointed unto man wants to die. So we're going to die whether there's a disease here or not. But if we die, we want to die holy. Amen. We want to die righteous. Amen. Those saints that have already died, amen, they are right now in the presence of God. Amen. In total peace. Amen. Waiting for the, come to your seat. Waiting for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Amen. So that's a good thing. Amen. They're not in somewhere uh, being tormented. Amen. They are in perfect peace. Amen. With God. Amen. It says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee. Amen. Don't you know that we all have an angel? Amen. That's assigned to us. Amen. That watches over us. Amen. That leads us and guides us. Amen. Those accidents that you thought you were going to be in and you walked away. Don't you know that that was the angel of God? Amen. Coming down to protect you, pulling you out of danger, blessing you to walk away from a, 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 a car. Amen. That was totaled. Amen. And there's not a scar on you. Amen. That's the power of God. Amen. That's the protection that he sends to us through his angels. Amen. To watch over us and protect us. Amen. He shall give his angels charge over thee. Amen. To keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. As long as your ways are in the ways of holiness. Amen. The angels are there to keep you from danger. Amen. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Amen. Before it even happens, amen, that angel was there to protect you, to tell you to go another way. Amen. To cause you to be late because he knows that if you had gone at that time, amen, somebody would have been shooting. Amen. And if you do get caught, amen, in gunfire, God knows how to protect you. Amen. Don't he know how to protect you? Yes, he does. Amen. He knows how to protect you. Amen. Amen. And so this is why we continue to trust in God. He is our help. Amen. He is our defense. Amen. He builds a fence around us. Amen. Protecting us. Amen. From the dangers, not only that are just in the world, but even what the enemy wants to bring against us. Amen. Because as saints of God, we go through a warfare in our minds. Amen. The enemy comes to attack our minds. Amen. To make us want to give up on God. To make Make this life of holiness seem stupid. It's in vain. You're just wasting your time. You're in a cult. Amen. They brainwashed you. This is the things that they say. Amen. But you've got to know for yourself. Amen. That you are in the right place at the right time. Amen. You are in this life of holiness. Amen. And hopefully you're in it to stay. Amen. Because it's those that endure to the end that are going to be saved. Amen. Saved from the wrath of God. We're saved to be saved. Amen. We're saved from the sins of this world to be saved from the wrath of God. Amen. And so we want to endure to the end. You can't say, well, look, I did 10 years. I'm good. Amen. I did 50 years. I'm good. Amen. But the Bible tells us that if you live for God and you decide to turn from him, then all the time that you live for him is not counted. Amen. So you've just blown 20 years. When you turn your back on God, you've just blown 50 years. Amen. All of that was in vain, and now you got to go to hell. What sense does that make? Amen. So we got to endure to the end, amen, if we want to receive eternal life. Amen. It says, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. And these are very dangerous creatures, very dangerous. But whatever the danger is, amen, that comes before us, God is able to cause us to trample over them. Amen. To step on them like they're nothing. Amen. This is the power that God will give you. And it might not be a, a, a real snake. Amen. But whatever the danger is that comes in your life, amen, God is able to walk you through it. Amen. He will lead you and guide you every step of the way, what you need to do, how you need to do it. Amen. And if he decides that he's going to do it, he knows how to tell you to step back. Hold your peace. Amen. And watch me deliver you. Amen. That's what God is able to do. That's what God is willing to do for those that trust in him. Amen. In the time of need. Amen. And also we trust in God even if, if everything is peaceful. Amen. We can't turn 
now back on God like I don't need him anymore. You know, I got money in my pocket and in the bank and, you know, I'm driving fine cars and, and I live in a penthouse. Amen. You know what? If you stop trusting God, all of that can be snatched from under you. Amen. Just like God blesses, he knows how to take away. Amen. Job said, they come to the O.C. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. He can take away everything that he has blessed you with. Amen. So it behooves all of us. Amen. To stay in that secret place. Amen. Where God has us to protect us. Amen. From the dangers of the enemy. Amen. It says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Amen. Because you love and you trust God. Amen. He will deliver you. Amen. Not, not just from the things of this world, but he'll deliver you from the attack of the enemy in your mind. Amen. But you got to keep trusting him. You got to keep seeking him in prayer. You got to stay in your word. You got to ask God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of his word. Amen. You got to abide by the fruits of the spirit. Amen. That he has put in you. Amen. We cannot, we cannot do, amen, what the world does. Amen man to get revenge. Amen. We got to trust God. Amen. The Bible God was saying in the Bible, vengeance is mine. Amen. And I will pay. I will pay. And so sometimes we have to let God do it. Amen. And, and if even God leads us, amen, we have to follow his lead. Amen. We can't act like the world. Amen. We got to know how to handle ourselves. Amen. We, we have to know how to keep this flesh under subjection and move by the power of God. Amen. That's when you'll see things work for you. Amen. That's when you'll see the blessings of God moving through you and for you, even among those that are in high places. You know, sometimes we fear because, well, you know, the mayor said, and, and, and the governor said, and, and the president said, amen. But what did God say? Amen. That's whose word we ought to trust in. That's whose word we ought to believe in. Because the Bible says, hallelujah, the heart of the king is in the Lord's hand. And as, as the rivers of water turn, so turneth God the hearts of men, the hearts of kings. So we don't have to fear because of people in high places. We just have to make sure that we're doing it right. Amen. Because we got to do it right. Amen. And we got to trust God. Amen. Our trust has always got to be in God. It, it says, I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Amen. Those that trust in God, God begins to elevate. Amen. He begins to move them up. He begins to manifest himself more in their life. He begins to use them with great power and anointing. Amen. But that's only for those that trust in God. Amen. And this power and anointing is not just for those in ministry. Amen. Because the Bible talks about, you know, those that believe, amen, they shall cast out devils. Amen. They shall heal the sick. Amen. God will move through anyone, amen, that continues to live for him and trust in him. This is when you become elevated in God. Amen. When God grows you in the spirit, amen, he will do that for each and every one of you. But, but your trust has got to be in God. Your faith, your life, your walk Amen. Has to be in God because God wants total commitment from every last one of us. Amen. It says he shall call upon me and I will answer him. This is God talking. When you call on him, he will answer you. Amen. I will be with him in trouble. Amen. I will deliver him and honor him. That's for all of us. This is what God is saying that he will do for those that trust in him. Amen. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. 
This is when God begins to manifest, amen, and he begins to even extend our lives, amen. He will bless us, amen. He will watch over us. He will protect us and even our children, amen, but we got to trust him, amen. And if we can't seem to, to have that trust that we need in time of trouble, we can always go to God. Amen. And ask God to help us. Lord, I know that I'm not trusting you as I should. I need you to put that trust down on the inside. I need you to show me, oh God, that you can do anything but fail. Amen. Because it's easy to say that. Amen. It's easy to say God never fails. And, and I know God is there for me. Amen. But the proof is when you start going through, when the troubles come, can you still say it? Can you you still trust God? Can you still praise him and lift him up? Amen. Can you keep your head up? Amen. In the time of trouble. Can you keep a smile on your face? Amen. Not because you're smiling because of what happened to you, but smiling because you know that God is going to take you through. You know that God is going to deliver you. Amen. You know that you're going to come out with the victory. Amen. And therefore I smile. Amen. We, we've had people, Bishop Willis and I have had people to say, y'all look like y'all don't go through anything. Amen. Because we keep a smile on our face. Amen. Because we don't walk with our head hung down. But trust me, we go through just like everybody else. Amen. We're still people. Amen. God hasn't elevated us to be angels. <laughs> Amen. That we don't feel nothing. Amen. We're still human beings and we still have to go through. That's why we still need your prayers. Amen. Amen. All of us need prayer. Amen. So we pray for ourselves and we pray for one another. Amen. That God will watch over and protect and keep. Amen. And keep us in the will of God. Amen. It's so important. Amen. To trust God. Amen. With all your might, with all your soul, with all your spirit. This is what God wants. Amen. A full commitment. Seeking God, amen, for whatever you need in order to grow in the spirit. Amen. Some need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And it is time to trust God with all your might, to seek him with all your might. Sometimes we have to put down other things that we don't have to do. Amen. And give that time to God. He wants us to be consecrated. Amen. And granted, you have to watch your children. Amen. You have to take care of them. You have to take care of your spouses. You have to do your stuff around the house and take care of your business. Amen. But that time that you find when you can just sit down, amen, and rest and relax, you got to give some of that time to God. Amen. You can't be too tired, amen, to seek God. Amen. That's, that's not an excuse. I'm tired. I've done this. I've done that. I had to do this. And I'm just tired. Amen. God can take away that tiredness. Amen. If you just ask him, God, I'm too tired. If I open this Bible now, I know I'm going to fall asleep. But you can, you can give me that quickening power, that power that makes me alive in the spirit. Amen. And God, as I open this word, I pray that you would bless my strength. Amen. Amen. To come forth. Amen. That I'm not tired and I'm not sleepy. Amen. And you'd be surprised what God will do for you. Amen. But if you say you're tired and you just close the book, amen, I'm done. I can't do this. Amen. You will never grow in God. Amen. And the less you grow, the weaker you become. And the weaker you become, the easier it is for the enemy to come and just take you out of here. Just a simple Amen. And he's waiting on you. That devil is waiting. I'm just waiting on that opportunity. They're going to slip up. They're going to slip up. And I'll get them. I'll grab them. He's just waiting on you. Amen. But we have to say within ourselves, not me. Not me. You're not going to get me. Amen. Because I know what to do in order to stay with God. I know what to do in order to stay, amen, in the protection, amen, that God has me in. Amen. Because this protection that he has is not just natural from the things of the world, but it's also spiritual. Amen. He will protect you, amen, from the hands of the enemy. Amen.
amen, he himself will rebuke the devil for you, amen. So we don't have to worry, we don't have to fret, amen. All we have to do is seek God, amen, and grow in his word, amen. We ought to check ourselves sometimes, amen. How am I now, how much better am I than I was last year? Amen. Then I was six months, six months ago. Amen. You have to examine yourself. Amen. To see your own growth. Amen. And, and in the scriptures, it talks about, you know, uh, asking God to examine you. Amen. Because God can see things that we can't see about ourselves. Amen. And he will let us know. Amen. What we need to start doing. What we need to stop doing. Amen. Because it's hindering us. It's not going to always be sin. Amen. But it's something that keeps you from seeking God. Amen. The devil knows how to get you caught up in stuff. You know, this ain't no sin. Amen. And he gets you caught up in it. Book reading. I love to read books. Amen. And before I know it, you know, I'm, in, I'm involved. I'm really looking at this book, you know, and I'm all in it. Amen. But, but God has spoken to me at times. And he said, if you can read that book, you can read the Bible. Amen. And I was like, oh, yes, sir. Amen. I immediately put it down. Amen. And the devil won't let you focus on that because it's not sin. Amen. But anything that keeps you from seeking God, amen, that's, the Bible says that that's a weight. Amen. And he said to lay aside every weight and the sin. Amen. That so easily besets you, so easily gets you off track with God. Amen. Ask God to examine you. Ask God to show you you. Not nobody else, amen, but to show you you, amen, so that you know that you're on the level that God wants you to be on, amen, and I guarantee you, he will do that for you, amen, if you're sincere, amen, if you really want to grow in God, amen, he will do that for you, amen, if you would but seek his face, amen, if you would stay faithful faithful to him. Amen. If you would stay faithful to the word of God. Amen. You'll see that growth. You'll see yourself beginning to grow in God, getting stronger in God, being able to fight the devil easier. Amen. Because of the strength and the power that God has given you. Amen. I pray, amen, that I have said something to encourage, to help, to strengthen somebody. Amen. And for those of you that are not saved, amen. Man, we have an answer for you in Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he is our savior. Amen. He came to save us from sin. Amen. That's what the Bible says. In Matthew 1 21. Amen. She shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Not in their sins. But he will save you from your sins. And then he will replace it with his spirit. Amen. He will replace it with joy and peace. Amen. With love. Amen. With, with long suffering. With gentleness. Amen. With temperance. With faith. Amen. He'll replace that love for the world for the love of God and his word. Amen. He will do that for you. All you got to do is surrender your life to God. Hallelujah. All you got to do is ask God. Amen. And you can do it right now. Ask God to save you. Understand. Recognize that you are a sinner. That you need to be saved. Amen. Ask God to forgive you of your sins. Amen. And ask him to save you. Amen. And then allow him to save you. Because when you ask him, there's, a, there's an operation of the spirit that goes on on the inside. There's a washing and a regeneration in your soul. Amen. And when you get through praying to God, amen, you're going to know that you're saved. 
saved. Amen. It's not just saying words. Amen. But you got to let him do a work in you. Amen. Amen. And if you need, amen, a place to come to, amen, you can come to Landmark Church of Holiness. Amen. 1523 West Washington Street. Amen. We practice social distancing. Amen. We practice wearing our mask. Amen. And you can come, you can hear the word of God. Amen. You can know for yourself. Amen. That God is real. Amen. That God is a spirit. Amen. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit. Pray right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for this word that went forth, oh God. We pray that you would prick hearts everywhere, that you would touch, that you would encourage, that you would save to the utmost, God, in the name of Jesus. Draw the souls unto you, oh God, as only you can. Give them a mind to want to live for you. Oh God, let them see the dangers in this world, oh God, and how they correlate with your word, God, in the name of Jesus. Move by your power. Move by your spirit. Move by your might, God, in the name of Jesus. Save such as should be saved. God, we pray that you would heal those that are sick and afflicted. In the name of Jesus, oh God, send your healing power, God. In the name of Jesus, raise them up, oh God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God, and touch their hearts that they would give you the glory. Amen for what you've done for them. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray that you look in the prisons, oh God, in the nursing homes, God, in the name of Jesus, to those that are homebound, God. Lord, we pray that you would move in a mighty way, that you would deliver and set free. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we're trusting and believing you, oh God. Our faith looks up to you, God, in the name of Jesus. And we'll give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. And God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is on the main line. Woo!
my God, my God. Isn't God good? All we got to do is call him up. All you got to do is talk to him. He waiting on you. He waiting on you. Call him up. Hold on. Somebody say he's near you. Even in your mouth. Even in your mouth. He's just that close. Even in your mouth. I called him up. I called him up one day. Amen. He answered my prayers. Oh, man. Amen. I love him. I love him. How about you? Do you love him? Woo, I, I love talking to Jesus. How about you all? I don't have no problem of calling him up and telling him what I want. And it ain't asking for a car neither. It ain't asking for a home neither. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but I, I, mean, I want God to come into my life and give me more of his spirit, more of his joy, more of his peace, more of his long suffering. Call him up. <laughs> call him up. <laughs> Somebody said, call him up. Call him up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. <laughs> oh, I told you, I told you Jesus excites me. I tell you, God excites me. Amen. I don't mind calling, you know, they call us a noisy crew. Yeah, that's exactly what we are, a noisy crew. God want to hear from me. He ain't, come on now. He ain't deaf, but he wants you to call him. In the midnight hour, call him. When things ain't going well, call him. And when things are going all right, call him. Woo, my God, call him up. <laughs> and tell him, man, I tell you, I had to play that today. And tell him what you want. Amen. How many of y'all used to say years ago, ain't no shame in my game. Yeah, I ain't ashamed to call him up. Amen. I ain't ashamed to tell the world I love God. Amen. And I call on God because he is my help. Without him, I'd be nothing. I'd be like a ship without a sail. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Y'all like having church? I like having church. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> See, God's people are churchy. Not only are they churchy, they go to church, but they live church. They live salvation. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Because it's down on the inside. Working on the outside. And oh, what can I see? Oh, what a change. What a change. What a change. What a change. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, God is real. How y'all know he's real? Because he's real in me. Ooh, if he ain't real in you, you ain't got him. Uh, call him up and tell him, well, don't be afraid to go to God. Amen. Even if you messed up, go to God. Go, call him up and say, God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Amen. He won't hold it against you unless you just keep on doing it. You got to say that now. Repeatedly. But God is good. And he overshadowed us, amen, with his goodness and his kindness and his love. Amen. I'm still calling him up. Every day. 365 days a year. When that extra day they throw in, I call him on that day too. Amen. Ain't, what you say? Ain't got tired yet. Amen. Amen. Good word, evangelist. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Y'all excited about Jesus? Oh, good, good, good. I know I am. Amen. So when I leave here, I'm going to leave here just like, I, just, just like God blessed me right now. I'm going to leave out here with it. 
Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Ain't nobody going to steal my joy. I don't care what nobody say. Because the devil, he be waiting on you out there. So he can mess up your mind and your spirit. Man, I was doing all right. You can still stay all right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I had to let that keep going. Call him up. Did y'all like that song? <laughs> and tell him what you, you know, they should sing that years ago. Those are the kind of songs they played and they sung years ago. Now there's stuff that they be playing now, this junk that they be playing now with all that hip hop stuff in it and all that. Hey, Amen. It's, not, it's nothing like the old hymns. Hey Amen. I'm used to old hymns. Y'all remember the song, All That I Need? Oh, 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 oh